In this video, I'm going to talk about environment inactivity trigger. Now, as you see in this screen, I'm in Power Platform Admin Center. Uh, I have one environment, which is a type of developer environment, which says that the state is ready. However, it says two days until disabled. Okay. Now, if you see this environment was created on the 1st uh, October, at 3.47 p.m., okay, uh, and uh, this was like the last activity was on 22nd of the November, okay. Now, Power Platform will give you an important indication that when the last activity was conducted on a specific environment, okay. Now, why this is important is because if you have a lot of environment created within your tenant, then it is very hard to identify which environment is currently used, which environment people are using or not using, and uh, that can act as a candidate for cleanup. Now, this environment, Alex Dev, it says uh, this was uh, uh, disabled. It says two days until disabled. Now, what does that mean is like uh, if you want to explore more about this environment, I'll just select the environment and I'll click on detailed view. Now here, you see environments Alex Dev. Okay, let me duplicate this page just to show you how it looks in a normal environment. Okay, so if I'm in admin.powerplatform.microsoft.com and if I go to uh, another environment, which is a Girish Dev environment, let me show you that. Say Girish Dev environment, and if I click here and then if I go into the detailed view. And this one is Alex environment, which is just loading up. So as you see over here, Girish Dev environment, on the right hand side, you will see access like security role teams, users, S2S app, business units, and so on and so forth. This is an active environment. This is a ready state environment. Now the one which we saw uh, is Alex Dev environment, which is also a ready state environment, but here you will see an another card called as environment inactive you know the environment girish dev which is currently active people are using it you don't see that card but this environment alex dev environment which is currently been inactive it will give you some warning it says this developer environment has been inactive for 97 days what does that mean is this app environment is not been used no apps were created nothing is happening within this environment now, due to inactivity, it will be automatically disabled on the second of the third. So that means uh, in, like I will say, currently it's uh, 28th and it says that on uh, 2nd March, I believe this application is going to like in three or four days, this uh, environment would be disabled and then scheduled for deletion. Now, if such things happen for your environment and if you want to uh, like reclaim those environment what you can do is there is something called as trigger environment activity over here so if i click on trigger environment activity it says trigger environment activity on alex dev are you sure you want to trigger environment activity if you'd like this environment to automatically disable over time do not proceed so if we do don't do anything then uh, this environment will get disabled on the second of the third okay in like three or four days time but if you want to do some activity so that the Power Platform understand that this environment is needed maybe by the user, so let's not mark it for deletion, then you need to click on continue. So it says after a few seconds, the environment's last activity will be updated to today. Now, environment's last activity was 22nd of the November, which was like um, three months, uh, almost three months uh, from now or from before today now if you click on continue then it will start triggering environment activity on alex dev environment and it says environment alex dev has successfully initiated a last activity update view this info on the environments hub so if i click on ok now if i see alex dev it says type is developer state is ready and the last activity was done today 28th of the second okay now now this environment is not will not be deleted okay so let's again go back and see the detailed view and see what has happened okay 
Now, this information, you know, currently it says that this developer environment has been inactive for zero days since 2, 20, 2, 28th of the 2nd, 2024, which is today. Due to inactivity, it will be automatically disabled on 20th of the 5th. Okay, so that's May. Okay, so after three months. Okay, so that means successfully we have triggered an environment activity so that the deletion of this environment will take place after three months if we do not do any any activity. So this is a bit of useful information provided by Power Platform so that you can extend your environment usage if it is not being used for a significant period amount of time. Okay, so that's it folks. This is all about trigger environment activity. Thanks for watching.